Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a first impressions of a planner that was sent to me by Life and Apples. This is the undated Life and Apples The Wellness Planner. It's a daily motivational journal for healthy living. And it says active life, balanced eating, and happiness. This is something that is available on Amazon. I will leave a link below for you guys. I am currently looking on my Amazon and it is retailing for $24.97. So I just wanted to let you all know that. And then there's some information on the back as well. Well, so it says the wellness planner, a daily planner and journal for staying healthy, motivated and inspired. It helps you focus on your diet and fitness goals, eat healthy and plan meals, lead an active lifestyle and stay fit, build and maintain positive habits, feel accomplished and happier. And then down here, it has 240 pages. It's a 90 day layout. Or it's a 90 day daily layout, I should say. There's meal planning, food journal, gratitude, fitness schedule, goals, weekly review, a habit tracker and inspirational quotes. So um, their website is lifeandapples.com, but like I said, you can get it on Amazon as well. First things first, there is this elastic band closure, which I do like for these kind of more like softer uh, planners. And let's pull this guy off here. All right, here we go. Let's take take it off. Oh, it's naked now. <laughs> so anyway, um, and the front, it is like a nice kind of a, I don't know, like a faux leather and it's going to be kind of hard to see, but maybe you can see it, but there is like a little embossed apple on the front. The spine is just like a softer leather as well. And then the back is just plain, but embossed on the bottom, it says life and apples with a little apple on that as well. There is a little pen loop, which is really nice. So let's open this bad boy up and it does feel nice. It's not like a gritty feeling. It's like a very smooth feeling, even though um, there's definitely like, you know, some, it looks like there's texture to it, but there's not, but I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't mind it. So anyway, there's a little card in there that says, download your free healthy living eBooks and printables at lifeandapples.com slash pages slash bonus. And it looks like you can sign up to get a 10% off coupon on your next order if you sign up there. That's cool. All right, so first impression of opening it. I hadn't opened it yet. Um, the paper feels nice. It feels thick, but it's like the front page, so it might feel a little different. So on the front, it just says Life and Apples, the wellness planner, undated. All right, so, oh, this is like stitch bound. Oh, that's cool. All right, so it has different sections. So section one is mindset, uh, concepts and guidelines, how to use this planner, a self-fulfilling promise. Section two is a daily planner and weekly project progress. I can't talk today. Your goals, daily planner, wellness. No, daily wellness planner. I told you guys I can't talk today. <laughs> Weekly progress review. And then section three is your progress and inspiration, a review, exciting things ahead and notes. Cool. All right. So here is just some information on mindset. I'm not gonna read this whole thing because I want to get through this a little faster for you guys. So you can kind of see the inside of this a little bit. So I think it's just like about talking about what this planner is all about is what it kind of looks like of like how to set a short term goal, daily motivation, things like that. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then there's like a little thing of like how to use this planner. Cool. So it talks about like gratitude, affirmation, active day, today's meal planning, a wellness summary and all that good stuff. All right, so, oh, you have to make a promise to yourself apparently when you have this planner. All right, cool, well, let's make a promise, y'all. So the promise to myself, the day and date, I will use this wellness planner to create a lasting positive change in my health and wellness. And then, you know, why, basically you put why you wanna change it, and then you're prepared to change and commit, and then sign it, all right. Okay, this has a lot of structure to it, so, if you guys know me in any of my planner styles, I really don't like a lot of structure, but I think this would be really great for somebody that likes a lot of structure, especially if they're trying to get motivated with meal planning, meal prepping, being active, things like that. So, I mean, I haven't looked through the rest of it, but I can just already kind of tell that it's gonna be a lot of structure. So anyway, you got my goals. Um, so then you can put in a bunch of goals. So your goal and you want to achieve them by and then the action steps and there's three lines with little faint check boxes. And it looks like there's five on this page. 
And then now we are into the daily planner. Okay, so it's one day on two pages. So you have the day and date, which it's undated, so you can start this at any time. You write what you're grateful for, your daily affirmation, your active day. It says exercise, workouts, and opportunities to keep active today. And it's got seven different lines with checks. And then notes, it says today's priorities, to-dos, special events, et cetera, and seven categories, or seven lines as well with little checks. So, I mean, clearly you would use this for like food and activity tracking, but if you had like to-dos, like, hey, I need to run to the store, I need to go grocery shopping, or I need to like pick up the dry cleaning, like you could put that in here, it looks like. And then down at the bottom, it says universal wellness elements, are you getting enough question mark? And it says air and sunlight, water, nutrients, joy and fun, and sleep. Sleep is something that I definitely struggle with. I don't know if you guys struggle with it out there, but I definitely struggle with sleep. Water, I don't struggle with that at all. Um, all right, so over into the right-hand side over here, it says today's meal plan, and then it has breakfast and some lines, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So you can either plan that ahead or you can even just write it in as it happens. This is small enough that it would definitely fit in, I think, most people's purses. Let me see if I can find the size on the interwebs here. All right, so this is five and a half inches by eight inches. So yeah, I mean, you could definitely throw this in your bag or your work bag or keep it on your desk at work or just keep it at home too. I mean, it's definitely small enough where it could suit those needs. And it says on the scale of one to five, how was today and how well did you follow the plan? And it's one through five and it just says, what could be improved tomorrow? And then it's got like a little quote from George Eliot and says, the strongest principle of growth lies in the human choice. Isn't that the truth? Gosh, it's getting, it's getting deep on the FDE channel today. All right, and so um, day and date all over again and I believe, hmm, let's see here. All right, so you've got a whole week and then you have a weekly review. So you have your day and date, success and wins. Oh, and all the days are the same, like the day and date and then like your today's meal plan, all of those are the same throughout the seven days. So at your weekly review, you put the day and the date, successes and wins, and it says celebrate your wins. What were some of the motivating moments, people and things that helped you have a healthier week? And then you have three lines to write about that. And it says needs improvement. How can you make next week a healthier one? Any pitfalls to avoid? And it's got three lines. The next section is insight and lessons. What have you learned about yourself this week? And three more lines. And then over here is the weekly progress tracking. And it says track your daily, bi-week, and weekly healthy habits. So it's got uh, three sections here and then Monday through Sunday. So you can either check that off or you know, if there's a certain amount of ounces of water or something like that, you could do that as well. And then over here, it says track your progress towards your goals. Use parameters like weight, number of weekly workouts, new habits, etc. And it says parameter this week, my goal. That'd be nice if you're trying to fluctuate your weight or something like that. Um, and then weekly notes, it's got a bunch of lines and some check boxes as well. All right, so then we're back into the week again. All right, and then you got another weekly. Okay, let's kind of see what else is going on. I kind of like that this is stitched because it like lays, like it lays flat. Like I don't know if you guys can see that, but it, it does lay flat. Um, it's hard to see because I'm like tipping it up, but it does lay flat, which is kind of nice. It does have these as well, these little ribbons. Wow. Words are hard today. <laughs> so you could ideally have one of them for your day and then one of them for your week, especially if you're gonna do one of those like weekly habit trackers or the parameters or something. Um, so yeah, but let me find if there's anything else going on in this planner. Th that just might be it, I'm not really sure. So let's take a peek here. And then I'll talk about paper quality in just a moment. Okay, looks like that's all the same. Oh, oh, there's different pages. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so in the back, okay, so this is after all of the 90 days. So in the back, it has review. Congrats on your commitment to a healthier life. Write down the accomplishments that you're most proud of and detail what you need to continue and improve on your journey to wellness. And it says, I accomplished and says, look back at your goals and notice the progress you've made. What are your big list accomplishments? And you can write them down. And it says, I'm committed. Um, and then exciting things ahead. Oh, and then you've got a bunch of notes pages. Very cool. All right. So we've got 
three line or one, two, three, four line notes pages, and then you've got one, two, three, three normal pages that are blank, and then this one's like more of a oh <laughs> five normal pages, and then this one's more like a and it's not cardstock, but it's like thick. Oh, and then in the back there's a little pocket so you can put, you know, like a something in there, you know, some secrets or something. So, yeah, so this is the planner. Um, yeah, so the paper quality feels pretty nice. It is a little thinner than like the Erin Condren. If you guys watch my regular planning uh, stuff, I use an Erin Condren. It's a little bit thinner than that and I can tell by the ink saturation underneath as well. Um, I don't have time to do a pen test today. I'm kind of in the middle of doing a whole bunch of things in my home right now, so I don't have time to do that today. But um, I feel like any like regular like ballpoint not ballpoint, but yeah, a ballpoint pen or like a gel pen would probably be really nice with this. Um, like I said before, there is a ton of structure with this planner, like a lot of structure with this planner. So if that's something that you're really seeking, I think that this might be a really good idea for you if you really want to get motivated with your food and your fitness and tracking things, like this might be a good one for you. I know that some people have a real trouble with planners that don't have any structure at all. I kind of thrive on minimal structure, which is probably why I've never gotten into bullet journaling because there's like no structure with that. <laughs> so um, I do like my Erin Condren hourly because it just gives me hours and I can put in what I want to put in that's like great for me but any more structure than that I don't like so this isn't something that I would definitely use however I can see the value in it for sure especially if you're someone that just needs to have a question posed and then write it in so like having a category to say hey I am grateful for this and these are my notes and this is my lunch plan like that I can totally understand how that works really well for some people so I think the planner is pretty cool I actually really like the size of it just for portability because if I were to use it I would want to take this on the go and grab my pen and take it you know to the office or take it to visit friends or whatever and like really keep track of stuff because if that's what this planner is all about with tracking things it's just something that I would definitely want to to be portable which it is it's quite light as well it's really nice it's not bulky um, it's very thin so I do like that that it would fit in in most purses I would say again if you are interested in this planner at all feel free to check out the links down below if you all have any questions about anything else feel free to leave them in the comments below and if you guys want me to review any other planners out there in the world also let me know in the comments down below you guys have sent me some great ideas and I've been trying to get as many of those planner reviews and first impressions on my channel as fast as possible. So anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.